What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a comparison review between the Fly Super Lace Boxing Gloves and the Clatorius Hook and Loop Training Gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythms. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'm going to be doing a comparison review between the 16 ounce Fly Super Lace Boxing Gloves and the 16 ounce Clatorius Hook and Loop Boxing Gloves. So. As you can see here, I have Cleto Reyes, which is the classic legend, the tried and true performer that everybody loves and knows. And on my other hand, I have the fairly new Fly Super Lace. Now Fly is from the UK, Cleto Reyes is from Mexico. They have a great tradition, as well as the UK does have a great boxing tradition as well. And Fly is kind of the new elite level glove that has came out from the UK that it's made is you know just in the UK it's, it's really rare to find that gloves are made um, that are not made like in China or Pakistan and are handcrafted uh, from their respective areas using materials from their respective areas there's only a few brands that do that uh, obviously race is one of them winning and now fly is the other brand that has really made a beautiful glove um, that is handcrafted using locally sourced materials um, in the UK. So um, the, both of these gloves are 16 ounce. Um, I got them both in blue to kind of give you guys a good respective comparison on how they look visually compared to each other uh, as well as their, their size. So when we compare the gloves as far as their design, the length and the size of the gloves are, are pretty much um, identical. Um, you can see um, that the actual knuckle area on um, the Reyes is a little bit wider, has more of a punching surface on there. Um, you can see the actual length of the glove and the body of the glove um, is a little bit wider on the fly. Um, to me, this the fly definitely accommodates people of all sizes as far as hands go. It has a, a, a very snug fit, but not uncomfortably snug. Snug in, in a good way to where your hands feel really nice and locked in. Um, the same thing with the Cleto Reyes, it's definitely a mid to compact glove. I feel that even though the profile of the fly looks a little bit wider, um, the use of, or should I say the proper use of foam within the glove um, is a little deceiving. And you can really feel that your hand is, is really secure in that glove, even though the profile may look a little bit bigger um, than these Reyes gloves. Um, the actual leather on both are fantastic different you know two different kind of leathers you can see that the the reyes uses a very shiny mexican style full cowhide leather very very stiff you know um it doesn't have a lot of give takes a lot of breaking in using these on the bag and just overall gym use uh where the fly has the actual leather has more of a matte and grainy feel to it it almost reminds me of a really high-end designer handbag like a Louis or a Gucci bag where they use a very nice, plush, soft, uh, grainy leather. And you can see that it's a, a very nice matte color to it. Even the white leather on the thumb has a matte look to it. It's not shiny like the Cleto Reyes in terms of the actual look of the, of the sheen of it, if, if you want to say. Um, you can see they both have the respective logos on the back. You have the Cleto Reyes standard logo there. Um, and you also have the Fly logo on the back. I like that both brands keep it pretty classic and simple. You don't have a lot of crazy weird designs on here. It looks very elegant looking. Um, you can see that you both use double stitching throughout. You know, the stitching is fantastic on both gloves. Um, one thing I noticed um, that the Fly doesn't have is they don't have any ventilated holes on the thumb or on the palm side. Again, that's just more or less um, for ventilation. Um, both have a really nice grip bar. I'd say that the grip bar on the Reyes glove um, is a little bit bigger, but that does not affect the performance at all. Um, the Reyes uses a latex foam, where the Fly uses a multi-layer foam padding. It's a little bit more forgiving. It is pretty dense, um, but it is definitely broken in more than the Cleto Reyes. The Reyes has definitely more of a stiff feel to it and takes some time to break in. Where these Flies, you can see that have a really nice and broken in feel, almost like a fight glove when you put them on, but obviously for training since these are 16 ounce. Um, both have a, a leather attached thumb. 
The thumb placement on the on the fly is very good. Um, I felt that the tip of my thumb it, on some harder shots on the bag would jam on the very top where the thumb attachment is. Um, but that has that is actually broken in over time now and is a lot more comfortable. The seam on the hand right here isn't um, doesn't really snug down and is not uncomfortable. Um, the thumb compartment on the Reyes is, is much improved over previous generations. Um, it doesn't jam at all as well. Um, and then the seam right here isn't too bad. It does take a little bit of breaking in, but again, not too much discomfort uh, between the two. Now the actual inside comfort of the hand compartment, um, I definitely say that the fly is more comfortable. Again, it has a more broken in feel. And then the foam that they use on the inside of the hand um, is softer and more plush in the fly glove. So it, it kind of forms to your the natural shape of your fist better than the Reyes does. Now the Reyes is, is comfortable as well, just not as comfortable as the fly. Now both have really superb wrist support. You can see that fly uses, you know, about a quarter inch layer of foam, as well as Reyes does as well to really give you that extra rigid uh, rigidity on your wrist so when you lace these up or you velcro these in you feel nicely locked in that uh, once you have that they use this really cool you know pattern on the back it's kind of like where you, when you tie up your laces it can fall into that track similar to uh, some of those rival or, or even everlast boxing gloves that uses a similar style design to where it keeps the laces locked into those tracks um, so comfort i definitely say that the fly has the edge over the reyes in that regards and then performance wise I, I definitely would say that the fly is a, is a definitely a little bit overall better performer in the gym just because it's a more versatile glove um, I feel that because they're already broken in it takes less time to break in um, they're more comfortable and you can really use these for sparring hitting the bag um, the foam reminds me of Sabas in terms of the way they crack on the heavy bag and how they protect your knuckles as well um, so um, definitely as far as performance goes, I feel that the fly performs a little bit better than the Reyes glove. Um, and then lastly, the cost between the two gloves. Again, fly is, is almost like winning in the respect that um, they're pretty expensive. Um, if you do a conversion from euro to dollars, you're looking at you know, over $400 for, for a pair of fly super lace gloves. Um, they're super loops, which are the, the Velcro versions of the lace up of these are actually more expensive because they, they use more leather so there's more material used on the fly so that pre increases the price and then if you were to go with customs um, instead of their stock colors you know you're looking at five hundred dollars on up for the flies where Reyes you know you're looking at you know 170 200 dollars depending on the color and weight you get so you're definitely getting the quality that you would expect from an elite glove manufacturer like Reyes or Fly or even winning but for the fraction of the price that you would pay for the fly. So you have to kind of take that into consideration, um, your budget and what, how much you're willing to spend. Um, the Reyes obviously has been around for a lot, you know, a lot longer than fly has. It makes it a beautiful glove. It just depends on you and your personal preference. Um, I prefer the, the fly glove over the Reyes glove currently. Once, or once they're really broken in, it might be a tie, but for now, um, the fly um, definitely gets the nod um, as far as the overall glove goes. The only advantage I would say that the Reyes has over these is the cost. Um, and they're about equal when it comes to quality. I mean, it's really, I mean, you really have to sit there and, and, and draw straws to see which one has a better quality. Both have great leather, great stitching, very nice liners on the inside. Um, and just the overall attention to detail on both gloves are fantastic. Um, but just the overall fit and comfort of the fly is a little bit better. So if you guys have any comments, put them down below in the comments box. I'll make sure to leave all the info in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.